Hi, this is Wayne with Wayne Chang Real Estate Advisory. Thanks for joining me today. Today, we're gonna to talk about what are the three types of homes you should never buy? Welcome back, guys. So today's topic is going to be what are the three types of homes that you should never buy? So uh, let's get into this. Um, primarily, these types of homes are going to uh, be very low in value considered uh, compared to other homes most of the time. But more than anything, um, we always think about the future value of these homes. Is it going to be worth the same when you go and sell it in the future? Are you going to get your money back or are you going to have a hard time selling these homes? So that's really uh, from a financial perspective what you want to think about. And uh, when I say never, maybe maybe there's you know 1% of people that would consider buying these homes um, but at regular market prices, you should probably consider buying something else. So the first type of home is um, the home that backs up against a major busy street. So here in, in uh, where I live in Laguna Niguel, there are some very busy streets. For example, like Crown Valley Parkway. It comes right off the five freeway, major, major street with three or four lanes on both sides. So that's like a six to eight lane um, road with a lot of noise. So anytime there's a house that backs up against that street or a few other streets like that, you're going to lose a lot of value. A lot of investors won't even buy those homes because you're going to, you're going to probably lose about 10% of the value right from, uh, for, from that factor being close to the street. So be careful of that loud street noise close to the street, close to the freeway, um, any of those. Okay. So that's number one. Number two, uh, be aware of any properties that are located in HOAs with very high HOA dues for one reason or another. A lot of times it's due to deferred maintenance. If it's a condo or townhome complex, you know, they've been mismanaging their budget for years and now they've suddenly increased the HOA dues by $100 or $200 a month. Maybe there's a special assessment guarantee. When you go and sell that house, you're going to have a really, really tough time. So usually, for condos and townhomes, I don't like to see the HOA on, on a normal condo townhome. I don't like to see the HOA go over probably $400 a month. Anything over that, you're going to have to use some judgment. And for single family homes, probably not more than maybe about uh, between $100 to $150 a month, depending on the amenities. But anytime we're over those amounts or significantly over, you'll have a problem selling that home in the future. So be aware of that. Okay. Uh, lastly, you don't want to buy the most expensive upgraded giant house in the neighborhood. For example, uh, there are some neighborhoods here. The average home price is maybe between seven hundred to eight hundred thousand, and you know ninety percent of the homes are going to going to be in that price range. But you might have one home come up. It's on a huge lot, you know, much larger than everybody else's. They added additional square footage, put an amazing pool, but they're listed at one point one to one point two million dollars. Um, there are houses like that in, in different neighborhoods and you'll see those because you're going to be shopping around and you'll see homes that are, that are in one price point. And all of a sudden you see one house that's, that's so much more expensive than any other homes. Okay. Normally don't buy those houses because you don't want to be the biggest, most expensive house as a buyer. You don't want to be setting the, the price record. Uh, for that neighborhood. As a buyer, you want to do the opposite. You want to find a, a, an average home or maybe even price at the lower end and, and you move into a good neighborhood. If you are looking for a more expensive home, buy that same home in another neighborhood of similar price points. So going back to that example, if that home, let's say, is you know $1 million, go to another neighborhood where all the homes are a $1 million because that home value will, you know, be more stable and sustain itself through the coming years than uh, in, in when the economy goes down. Those types of homes are usually the first ones to take a hit. So those are the three types of homes you should not buy. Um, if you have any other topics you want me to talk about, just let me know. Contact me at the information at the bottom of the screen. Again, I'm Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang Real Estate Advisory. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day.